ado, uh, let me turn it over to Duane to induce, introduce our next speaker. Okay, that's not very many pixels across, but that's Pluto's satellite Nix in its first well-resolved image. So if I can have the next graphic, have a look at the icy, frozen plains of Pluto. Who would have expected this kind of complexity? And by the way, this scene uh, is uh, essentially adjacent, uh, neighboring uh, uh, the mountain ranges that you saw a couple days ago. And if they can go ahead and call that up, um, I think you'll enjoy seeing it. If we can lower some of the, probably can't lower house lights given the television. Is that graphic available, the animation? It's being shown. There you go. We can't see it back here. There it is. Yeah. Um, what you're looking at is a scene that's about uh, uh, total width, about 250 miles across, 400 kilometers. Uh, and these mountains soar as high above th their local terrain as um, many of the mountains in the Rocky Mountains do uh, here in the United States. The second flyover uh, is of the, uh, the plane that I just showed you, which we're informally calling uh, Sputnik Planum. Well, Sputnik was an explorer too. Uh, this scene is just as wide, 250 miles across, gives you a feel for the scale of the features that you were looking at. Really beautiful, uh, beautiful surfaces. And we're gonna be seeing a lot more of this. This is 400 meter per pixel uh, imagery. Towards the sun to get our best data set. This shows you on the left. Uh...